be patient and long suffering. And I wanted to encourage you quickly with a scripture that comes out of Colossians. And um, I'm going to start at Colossians 1 9, uh, actually 1 8. Who also declared unto us your love in the Spirit. You can go back and read this whole reference of scripture when you have time. For this cause, we also, since the day we heard it, do not cease to pray for you and to desire that you might be filled with the knowledge of his will and all wisdom and spiritual understanding, that you might walk worthy of the Lord unto all pleasing, being fruitful in every good work and increasing in the knowledge of God, strengthened with all might according to his glorious power unto all patience and long suffering, giving thanks unto the Father which has made us meet to be partakers of the inheritance of the saints in light, who has delivered us from the power of darkness and has translated us into the kingdom of his dear son, um, in whom we have redemption through his blood, even the forgiveness of sins, who is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of every creature. For by him were all things created that are in heaven and that are in earth, visible and invisible, whether they be thrones or dominions or principalities or powers, all things were created by him and for him. And he is before all things and by him all things consist. Okay, a quick word about long suffering. You may be going through a season where it seems as if it's taken a while for your miracle to manifest. Be patient, you know, stand on God's word. Um, he tells us in Galatians, be not weary and well-doing for you shall reap in due season if you faint not. It's going to require a level of consistency, a level of diligence for, you know, if you be willing and obedient, you'll eat from the good of the land. The hand of the diligent make it rich. And as long as the earth remain, there'll be seed time and harvest. And many times if we're not careful, we'll get impatient during the process of, you know, waiting for our miracle miracle to manifest. It may be looking like other people are getting blessed before you are. Are you willing to rejoice with those that rejoice? Are you willing to stand through trials and tribulations? Are you willing to trust God through to the end of your miracle? Miracle, Because in Mark eleven twenty four 24, it tells us whatsoever things you desire when you pray, believe you receive them and you have them. The reality is we walk by faith and not by sight. Don't be led by what you see. The things that are seen are temporal. The things that are seen are eternal. So you may not be able to see the manifestation of your miracle just yet or your prayer just yet but that doesn't mean that it's not manifested so i pray on today that the lord strengthen you during this long suffering you know it might not it don't have to be long suffering this could be something that god can turn around even now stand firm in your convictions by faith stand firm in the promises of his word and don't be weary and well doing shalom